Hi there, and thank you so much for joining us for Health Matters. I'm Marissa Perlman. Today, I am joined by Dr. Najib Raymond, who is a cardiologist here at Guthrie. Dr. Raymond, thanks for being with us oh, today. Thank you for having me. So, Dr. Raymond, tell us what exactly is sleep apnea, and why are people with heart disease at an increased risk? Well, sleep apnea causes basically decreased oxygen uh, saturation in the blood, and that stresses the heart, and that increases the adrenaline in the system, and that is not good for the heart. And the heart rate goes up, blood pressure goes up, and that increases the risk of having heart attack, stroke, heart failure, uh, atrial fibrillation, and even uh, fatal uh, cardiac arrhythmias and sudden cardiac death. And when it comes to sleep apnea, what are some of the symptoms of sleep apnea, and how do you diagnose that? Yeah, I think uh, that that's very important because the public and the physician both have to be, you know, would have to play a part in it in diagnosing because it does not cause pain. Most of the things happen during the sleep time when the patient is not aware. Uh, so if they snore, I think that is one thing. Uh, but if they have to wake up at several times uh, at night time, that could be another indication. Feeling tired during the daytime after waking up, not feeling fresh, that is another sign uh, that could. But I think one of the most important is that if the patient can fall asleep easily sitting in a chair, watching television, or uh, reading a newspaper. So easy fatigability, easy falling uh, asleep during the daytime is another sign. So I think if those signs are encountered, then there's a red flag, and I think that needs to be then further investigated. Okay, well, Dr. Raymond, thank you so much for taking the time to answer some of our questions well, Thank today. you for having me. And thank you so much for joining us for Health Matters. Have a great day, everyone.